very generous, free people. Government, political predator, a visible illusion, invisible to man. Our so government is a fictional created construct through which a governing body, executive, legislative, or judiciary of a country, a nation, a state, or a community aspire to live at the expense of other people's labor, sweat equity, and economic ignorance of finance. Now we say a government consists of only the people who have consent to delegate their authority to the governing body for collective security. Therefore, government has no legitimate powers beyond those that people individually delegate their consent by voter registration contract. It's all about contract. And again, government is a fictional created construct through which a governing body of a country, nation or state, or a community aspire to live at the expense of other people's labor, sweat equity, and economic ignorance of finance. Now, as a governing body is the executive, legislative, and judiciary group of people that manages, administrate, or control the activity of a country, region, or a political organization. Governing body can be a group of people who formulate policies and direct the affairs of an institution by established legal standard, use as law, practice, or custom. In partnership with managers, especially on a voluntary or part-time basis. Now we said government must be government must not be used to arbitrary seat used for the arbitrary seizure of property, possession, or wealth. I can't stop it as I go along, so stay with me. Government must not be used for arbitrary seizure of property, possessions, or wealth from delegated citizens or non-citizens, even if a democratic majority voted to do so. Considering that slavery has been outlawed and no individual has the authority or right to enslave another individual, then no group of individuals or governing body can possibly have such a right. So not even a governing body can enslave you. This rejection of government expropriation or arbitrary governmental seizure of property or possession forms a fundamental tenet of the inherent dignity, ideology, and philosophy of the free, sovereign man. Come on. Every man or woman has an inherent duty to exercise their natural rights to protect their life, liberty, and property without limitation or hindrance from government intrusion. The government exists to protect, defend this secured inherent duty to exercise our fundamental rights and freedoms and said government cannot legitimately be used to abrogate, abridge, infringe, violate, or trespass upon the individual man or woman's fundamental rights and freedoms. 
nor can the government fleece, defraud, deceive, trick, confiscate, loot, or plunder their private, public, or personal property and possessions. Society is the aggregate or herded together of people living in a brutish legislative ordered community. Society can be a British or a brutish organization, agency or club, i.e. the Bar Association, formed for a particular purpose or activity. Society can be the situation of being in a, the company of other brutish enslaved people, converted and now classified as artificial persons. We are do them thing and we are created, you know. Social engineering and organized educational conditioning or training by the Prussian curriculum of the governing body confuses the distinction between government and society. As a result, every time the people of society object to a thing being done by the government, the governing body concludes that the people object to it to its being done at all. If we, the people, disapprove of state organized education, the governing body says that we, the people, are opposed to all education. B. If we, the people, object to a state organized religion, the government, the governing body says that. We, the people, want no religion at all. If we, the people, object to a state organized and forced equality, the governing body says that we, the people, are against equality. Yeah, so this is the information where, as usual, I'm on the Scribe, the scribe on paper, document, and then bring it forward according to our point of view and our perspective. So again, government is a fictional created construct through which a governing body aspires to live at the expense of other people's sweat equity and labor and their ignorance of economic finance. That's the government for your people. Now, I said this is how we learn by the sharing of information, not necessarily regurgitating other people's information that has been presented, but bringing clarity and comprehension from your perspective, then expressing it accordingly. And then I try to keep it simple. We are no rocket scientists over here. We are what is known as grassroots, autodidactic, self-taught, autodidactic, self-taught grassroots, self-taught. Now, from where does the laws that we are talking about, such as the English or the brutish common law system, from what does it derive? I think according to what is written, that system of law, that English common law system derived from the 1066, Norman or Nordsman or Scandinavian invasion 
of that British, British, English location. Yeah, so the very English common law inherited by us here on this island that Jamaica inherited derived from the Nordic Scandinavian Gilasa people. Now, I should close this and not make it no longer. However, I'm tempted to touch on this information here. Right here are brutish peoples from the northern region, the Nordic God and the Salvic May God. Now I have Scandinavian. I have it as a Nordic countries. So the Scandinavian people are all of these people from Iceland, one, Faroe Islands, two, Norway, three, Finland, four, Sweden, five, and Denmark, six. And I have it here on a map where we are sure the Vikings, yeah, the Scandinavian, the Nordic Vikings are six kings are one, two, three, four, five, six. It has like countries. And all of these countries have a leader. They don't call themselves kings. And these are some people from the whole region of the earth. Them certain people are very intelligent and bright. And that is the elite class. You get me? And everybody says so the elite class. And then we have the Salvician, Salvic people. So these are the pagan Salvic countries. West Salvic, you have Czech, Kashubians, Poles, Salvics, and Serbs. All of these are the European people. So it's a the people occupy a large part of Central and Eastern Europe, but historically, there have been different groups within this broad term. The broad term is Salvic, you know, one of which was the Wends. It is believed that the Wends occupied the land between the Elbe and other rivers. But different medieval authors were not always clear in their phrasing or understanding and sometimes used the names when and sal interchangeably. So this area is Iceland, it's a for for a Faroland, you have Denmark, Norway, you have Sweden, which is the Rangians, and then you have Finland. So these are these people where you say first, according to what is written, start move and colonize the earth because they will come out of the northern region somewhere, someplace. And like an invasive species. These people are like sun out there on the beach. This is how many are plentiful they are. Yeah, man. So this set are the Norseman, the Scandinavian. And then you have the South, Slavikians. Where is Russia? Yeah? Poland, Lithuania, Ukraine, all of these people are Slavics. And then you have Anglo and Saxon are a Scandinavian Nordic group of people originally from parts of northern Germany called Angla 
and Saxony. And this is in northern Germany. This is where, where the peach color is. And the bottom here would be Anglia. And Saxony is right below to the right of Anglia. So these two group of people migrate to Britain. This is why you have the British name. England or Anglia. Because the first move from this location here. It was a sign from this location here and went here to Great Britain. What I'm called East Anglia. The very first move for them. So them originate in a Britain per se. You understand them are come out of some cold region where we don't know about. However, just a share the basic, you know what I mean? Preview what we can look at. Now I'm going to say brutish imperialism is a state policy, practice, or advocacy of extending power and dominion, especially by direct territorial acquisition or by gaining political and economic control of other areas. So this is what the imperialism is. Because imperialism always involves the use of supreme force or paramount force as power. It is widely considered morally objectionable. objectionable. In ancient times, rulers in China, Western Asia, and the Mediterranean extend their power through imperialism. Between the 15th century and the middle of the 18th century, France, England, the Netherlands, Portugal, and Spain built empires in the Americas, India, and East Indies, or Malay archipelago. Again, it's in the 15th century. This was 1492 when Spain invaded our location here. And when Spain invaded the Americas, their first location was the West Indies area or the so called Caribbean area or the Awa. Chief Dominion or Chiefdom, our Chiefdom, which is the Caribbean so called region, our Chiefdom. This is where these foreigners came. On the Pacific side is where Cortes went up through Mexico and claimed to conquer the Aztec. But make no mistake, even when it's Spain, England, France, Portugal, Netherlands, these are the very same people. Scandinavian and Slavic. Yeah, the Slavic. Slavician people. Very same people. Yeah, man. So we have the brutish English common law system, which Jamaica inherited, is based on a feudal property system introduced to England following the, six, the 1066 French Norman, or the Normans at the time came from over France when they were invaded. For the French Norman invasion and conquest of the country by William I, the conqueror, to control and dominate the Anglo Saxon tribe of England, then on to Wales, Scotland, and Ireland, where it was used to terrorize and destroy the prevailing tribal shared property system. Tribal shared property system was before. The Normans feudal property system and remove and displace the 
Anglo-Saxon and other Europeans people from their inherited tribal land, forcing them to migrate to America, which they consider the new world discovered and invaded by the said brutish Europeans in 1492. Thus information we will put together, work on, and bring forward. Because, you know, our people have a short attention span. We don't want to make nothing too long. We just bring some information where people can do their own research. And, you know, move forward from. But the Nordic, I classify them as God. And go through them and come out of the northern region. See, and these are the Nordic people. There are plenty. And them neighbors are them colleagues or the Salvi. I call them one of mega. This is just my personal view and opinion. And according to basic observation. You understand? These are people that is far from the equator. Their original point, their starting point, is very far from the equator. You understand? And the Scandinavian are a set of people where they convert to Christianity, while the Salvic people maintain their pagan it as a tradition. However, through the passage of time, these people set aside them differences and come together in order to, as you would say, conquer everyone else. So this is pertaining to these group of people, what we would have called white man. God, this now have nothing with the Persian side yet, Mongolian side yet. Now they, you know, We have to, those other people, Chinese and all of these things. That's a whole different you know, set, set of information. But what our observation detect is that the sharp-minded people, the elite, the very exceptionally bright set of people are those Nordic Scandinavian people. Got them first look out, run out, and decide so they want to be land pirates. They want to choose to usurp people's place. So irrespective of the different different names where them have now, like German, you know what I mean, and all these other, you know, France. Listen, two group of these people was there according to our observation. You understand? And these two group of people are the very same people where you say, say they are British, they say they are Americans, they say they are all rush, they are all different kind now. But their starting point is far removed from the equator or the black belt of the earth, equatorial belt of this earth. Again, information share. I hear a lot of people talking out there. You have some of these huge platforms where them just talk and talk and talk for hours, for days, for years. But it's all that talk. You understand? They will not get direct with their information and call the speed a speed. They will not do that. They'll play games with our people, talk a lot of mess, tell our people to go do this, go do that, go get weaponry and go. First and foremost, we have to know what's going on, where we can express it. We have to know who the adversary is, where we can express it. 
we have to know who we are, we have to express it. We have to know where we are and we have to express it. We can't allow foreign people to tell us who and what we are. We can't allow foreign people to dictate terms and conditions to us. We cannot allow foreign people when we say foreign people, that include the government, which is foreign, and its employees, which are foreign to us as a people. But again, the English common law system derived from the Norseman who introduced this system, feudal property system, into England in 10. 66, when these Nordsmen came from France, yeah, by way of their original location up in the whole northern region, these Scandinavian and Slovakians, Gog and Magog. The only group of people I'm gonna say really push for colonized areas that doesn't belong to them. So when you say all the ones then we are so them are Jew, Israeli, Jew, no sir, them is coming from that Scandinavian or the Slovakian group of people. That's their origin way, way, way up north. Yes. Yes. Now rebut this information. Now we're not my problem with any rebuttals, because this is how we learn. This is how we learn. So you government of Jamaica. with your so-called British slash brutish parliamentary legislative constitutional order. Watch me now. We reject you and we reject that. The only thing we choose to adhere to is the 1948 Declaration of human rights adapted and incorporated as the bill of rights in all agencies by laws known as constitution all of it they have to respect the inherent dignity of the man and woman and child these are the people where stand up in the earth with light. We now have, have no respect for no person or no persona or none of those caricature. Absolutely none. Why? Because it's artificial. It's lifeless. That's dead entity. We deal with life, living. I hope this brings some clarity out there. Truly. Now we have our next meditation where we will hear people. People, you know, say, We the people, we the people, we the people. What is we the people? Doesn't it take individual man and woman in an aggregated capacity? To be classified as people. Because people would consider the group. You're not going to call a one man. Hey, so the people. They're going to say the individual there. So. From my. Logical. You know, say, frame of thought. It takes individuals. Individuals. Plural. To be considered. A people, individual groups to be considered a people. 
again, my opinion, my logical, it has a frame of thought or line of reasoning. Now, if it takes individual, individuals, man and woman, coming together to be classified as a group or as a people. So when it's a we, the people are suffering, but it doesn't apply to individual man, it apply to group, it just sound, I personally not really get it. I just do not get it. Because if you have a group of people, then you have said, boy, the group can be sovereign, but the individual man and woman that makes up that group to be considered a people cannot be sovereign. Now that is, I cannot comprehend that. Probably I'm hearing it wrong out there, but I cannot agree with that. I am a sovereign man. Why am I a sovereign man? Because I'm not attached to any other man. I have a mind of my own to choose to think freely independently and autonomously. I have a twin brother and my twin brother who born the same day at the same time with me. Do not think such as I. We might look alike, but we are two separate and distinct and completely different entities as man. This is why I'm sovereign. And if you have 10 people like me with this information, then you'll have <laughs> individuals come together and say, hey, we are the people. We are the people who is sovereign. Then are you going to say one or each individual in that group is not sovereign? Somebody need to explain that to me. This is why I don't go back and forth. Uh, we have too much people that are too bright for their own good, yet they are properly enslaved. Properly enslaved. And teaching other people how to remain that way with this big foreign parasitic system within their affairs. I don't like that. I detest that. So I burn it. This is why as a sovereign man, a sovereign individual, I bring my information this way unapologetically. Again, I hope my people, my grassroots people, attain some clarity from us sharing our information accordingly. Grassroots, yeah, self taught, yeah, complete gratitude. Free people. Forgive the extended time. Forgive the extended time. <laughs>